here at 1185 channel view we'll say first impressions walking through the house uh, some of the light bulbs don't work so easy fix just kind of lazy um, might want to ask for a paint allowance on this one just because the paint is it's not it's honestly not terrible but it could be better so painting allowance is where they basically credit you money to a painter of your choice and after closing you hire the painter to come and do some painting um, overall house is pretty clean just some deep things that I noticed more like around the light switches baseboards that need to be wiped down um, can tell someone hasn't been in the home for a little bit because there are some little bugs in the bathtub downstairs um, it's like a daddy long leg or something but and then the weather stripping on the front door it looks like they had a dog. But I'll be honest, outside of this, there's really no other sign that there was one. And weather stripping is like a $5 repair. So that's the good thing there. Overall, the house is very clean, really good floor plan. I do love this and the entry. Got really high ceilings throughout the entire main floor. So this is what I'm talking about when I say asking for a painting allowance. It's really not bad, but it is a recurring theme throughout the home. You've got true hardwoods in here as well. Gas logs in the fireplace. When we go outside, I'll see if there's a propane tank. Stairs to your basement over here. On this side is going to be your primary bedroom. On this side of the house are going to be uh, kids' bedrooms. And then there's also a bedroom in the basement for guests. So going into the primary bedroom, beautiful vaulted ceiling, arched window. Uh, carpet actually looks really clean because carpet is, I'm going to be honest, it's just kind of gross. Again, you can see just the wear and tear on the paint, but it's really not terrible. It's just... Something I noticed. Okay, primary bath. Fun tile pattern. Double vanity. See, with the light bulbs. And that's something that bothers me probably because I I keep light bulbs in my car for this reason on my listings. Because um, the house doesn't tend to show as well. So you've got a freestanding shower. They left the rod, which is nice. Soaking tub. Really large primary closet. It's a great size bathroom. Okay. Right across, we're gonna have a little utility closet. So this is where I'd keep your vacuum, your mop. All of those things, and you can see what I'm talking about with the baseboards. So, ask for the home be professionally cleaned in your offer. Um, I'm going to recommend that in any home, not just this one, because honestly, this house is pretty clean already. But just because it's kind of gross moving into someone else's, you know, a house that has been cleaned after someone's lived in it again with the light bulbs out. This is where you can really see the wear and tear. Now, people usually are going to leave their nails. That's fine. But just like down here. Okay. And on this wall, you can see it too. Kitchen. You do have newer appliances, which is awesome. Ceiling pan and a fixture. You have laminate countertops. So if you wanted to upgrade to some sort of stone, like granite or quartz, I would honestly just go to Home Depot or Lowe's. They're going to have the best pricing for you. Sometimes MC Granite will have some clearance stones that uh, will get you some good pricing. Got a little overhang here. Let's say you could comfortably put two 24-inch bar stools. And this is your pantry slash appliance cabinet. Okay, it looks like they still have some things here. Yeah, they still have some stuff in here. 
So also in any offer you put in, we're going to ask that they remove all of their personal belongings so that stuff like this isn't left behind. Now when we bought our first house, um, that's more just wear and tear over here. When we bought our first house, they left us all sorts of food. So the laundry room is honestly the roughest in the house and it's really not bad. It's just back where that dryer vent is. So again, the cleaning, but it is a really good size utility room. It is a true utility room. It's not a closet, which you will notice in Clarksville, we do have a lot of laundry closets instead of laundry rooms. Okay, it's over, right over by the kids' rooms too. Room number one, again, got that great ceiling pitch. Got a really nice detail in the molding too throughout the whole house. It's very pretty. And the paint in this room is actually in really good condition. It's just that really light paint throughout the common areas that's seen better days. Nice walk-in closet. Got a window in here as well, at least has blinds and attic access. It's a great room for one of the kids. Okay, this would be their bathroom. Oversized single vanity again with the missing light bulbs. Let's make sure. Drawers are actually in really good condition. It's already baby proofed, so saves you a step. It's clean down here. Okay. okay. Yeah, again, just needs a good clean. You've got a shower tub combo. Again, little window. These always crack me up. This is like a mini linen closet. So for towels, extra sheets, blankets, it's got some really good depth to it. I'd say it's about two to two and a half feet deep. Okay. Guest room number two. Um, this one definitely could use some fresh paint. So that one up front, the paint looks really good, but this one you can just see the, the wear and tear. And there's just like little pieces of the baseboard missing in some spots. So way to fix that would be just some mud. Um, and even on the, the door might need a fresh coat too, which you can have a painter do. Um, I don't know if you like painting like I do, but I have painted all the doors in both of the houses we've owned at our own little touch of personality on it. Oh, you got a hole in this one too. So again, I'd probably just mud that. But if you have a, if you do go with a painting allowance, you can have them paint the doors and they'll fill in any nail holes, anything like that. So saves you a step. Okay, I'm gonna take you out on the deck. A nice fixture over here too. Um, and they did just paint the back door, so that's nice. Just painting around these panes is kind of a pain. You see a large deck. A lot of concrete back here since there's a back facing garage. Uh, there's a dog door in the garage. only partially fenced because of the wood line so but I know you guys have talked about a trampoline you might even be able to negotiate this one to just stay but you've got the trampoline over here and you could easily put the playground over on this side because um, it really it stays level up here it's just once you get to the very back it kind of dips back a little bit but it's very subtle got the shed basketball hoop it looks like they're getting the rest of their stuff out of here. Okay. 
go back in and go down to the basement in the garage. So coming downstairs, you do have an LVP flooring down here. Um, so if you're not familiar with LVP, it is basically bulletproof. I mean, you can It's water resistant, scratch resistant. Um, if you have pets or small children, it is honestly the best kind of flooring you can have because it doesn't expand or contract with the weather. If you spill something on it, um, you don't need to worry about getting it cleaned up immediately. Because on the true hardwoods upstairs, those floors will um, expand and you will have to most likely replace them if there is water damage. Where with these, it's almost impossible to damage them. So you've got, looks like 10 foot ceilings down in the basement. This is your garage access, we'll get there in a minute. Closet. Yeah, and this isn't fully finished either. So they've just got some storage stuff in here. Here's the... And the first time I walked down here, I did smell... Like, it smelled a little... It just smelled like a basement. I don't know how else to describe that. Like, basements just kind of smell a little musty. Okay, another closet. It's definitely coming from the closets too. Because I've got a lot of stuff in here. It's nice storage. Okay. Here's the guest room downstairs. So, kids' rooms upstairs are definitely bigger, but 100% suitable for a guest. Put a queen size bed in here and a nightstand. A window that looks into the backyard. Again, the closet has a bunch of stuff in it. This one has two closets, which is nice. Um, that could look better right there. This is a little surprise. I don't know. Here we go. Walk-in closet that actually connects to the bathroom. Okay. So here's the other side. This is actually a really good sized bathroom down here too. So you can see these are two separate shades of gray, but I mean, you'd have to really pay attention. Um, I didn't notice it my first time. So this is great for your towels, all that fun stuff. And then this looks like it's brand new and it actually has a granite top. Um, yeah, the cleaners will address that, so not bad. Definitely could use a good wipe down. storage up here so this is where I meant there's a little dead long leg which sorry if you like lugs but I don't so Ugh. hate bugs okay. the interior doors down here um, look pretty good at least these two they look like they were painted pretty recently Okay, so here is your, looks like just a plumbing closet. Okay, looks like they had some sort of security system. It's a sensor. Okay. 
Um, so I didn't put a transition strip here on the actual tile coming from the LVP. It's okay. The door's definitely a little long. It rubs, but that's okay. It means it'll keep more bugs out. So I uh, could use a power wash. And again, they've got a lot of stuff out here. kind of have to look past all of their stuff. See, so I'll ask for that to go in the contract. That is going to be it for this one.